Hello, I'm Sean Velasco, designer at Yacht Club Games. We're an independent game developer based in Los Angeles, California. Back in 2013, we got our start when we launched a Kickstarter campaign for Shovel Knight, our groundbreaking debut title that fused modern gameplay with retro sensibilities. Shovel Knight was a big hit, and since then we've been creating more adventures in the Shovel Knight series. Plague of Shadows, Spectre of Torment, King of Cards, and the multiplayer battler Shovel Knight Showdown. As Yacht Club Games grew, we ventured into publishing. Our most recent release was 2021 Cyber Shadow, a ninja action platformer created by Mechanical Head Games. We've also been working with our talented developer friends to co-develop innovative new titles like the recently released Shovel Knight Pocket Dungeon, as well as the upcoming platforming adventure, Shovel Knight Dig. We'd like to say thank you to our legions of fans and friends. Your support is what allows us to live our dreams, and we will never forget that. Today, we have a lot of cool news to share with you. We'll be focusing on a selection of games that have brand new content currently in development. We have quite a few things to cover, so let's get started. Hey there, Pocketeers. My name is Celia Schilling. I'm the marketing manager at Yacht Club Games. As you may know, our roguelike puzzler, Shovel Knight Pocket Dungeon, was released on December 13th for Nintendo Switch, PS4, and PC. We're only a month into release and already we are blown away by the glowing reception. Players everywhere are battling one another, mastering all the characters, and solving the Pocket Dungeon's many mysteries. A lot of creativity and hard work went into this game's three-year development so far but we're just getting started. We have a few announcements for Shovel Knight Pocket Dungeon. This free update will add new accessibility options, bug fixes, and quality of life improvements. For instance, you can now control how much the board fills up when you fall in battle. Also, many objects have been given new descriptive text. Almost every object in the game has also been given a portrait, even this puddle of lava. It will also include a new playable character, Random Knight. This mysterious combatant will appear in camp after you've already recruited a few knights. When you start a new adventure with Random Knight, he will randomly become one of your unlocked characters. Random Knight is a great way to show off your knowledge of the whole Pocket Dungeon cast. This free update will be available soon. Next, we'd like to pull back the development curtain on our expansive slate of downloadable content that will be available in three DLC packs. The team has been hard at work developing online compatibility for Versus Mode. That's right, soon you'll be able to go head to head with your friends and other puzzlers around the world. There's plans for a matchmaking and ranking system, so you'll be able to find players of your skill level and prove your puzzle prowess to everyone. We're also tinkering with mod support features for the PC version of the game. With mod support, Intrepid players will be able to add their own content to the game. We look forward to delving into your own original creations in the near future. Many other elements are still in early development, but we're planning on releasing new playable characters, enemies and bosses, relics and items, hidden secrets, and much, much more. We'll be revealing more details about everything mentioned at a later date, so please hang tight, puzzlers. Hi, I'm Sandy Gordon. I'm an artist at Yacht Club Games. We're working alongside Nitro on the brand new platforming adventure, Shovel Knight Dig. Today, we're thrilled to share more details about the game. In Shovel Knight Dig, you embark on your quest after the evil Drill Knight and his dastardly digging crew, the Hexcavators, blast apart your peaceful campsite and steal your loot. As you tunnel after him in chase, you'll collect gems and golden gear bits, procure powerful weapons, and take down foes both familiar and new. Stages are procedurally generated, so make sure to keep your wit as sharp as your shovel. You'll need to jump, slash, and dig your way through an ever-changing chasm of mystery. Your unlocked items carry over after you fall in battle, so grab as much treasure as possible and stock up on supplies before you start a new run. As you dig deeper, you'll discover that there's much more to this heist than it appears on the surface. 
At the end of each level, you'll encounter one of the nefarious excavators blocking your path. Today, we wanted to highlight the crafty collector, Scrap Knight, as overseer of the magic landfill. Scrap Knight scrounges for worthy valuables and keeps the truly special stuff slung over her shoulder in an enormous bag. Does she look familiar? You might have spotted Scrap Knight as a playable character in Shovel Knight Pocket Dungeon. Though she appeared in that game first, she was actually created for Shovel Knight Dig. Next, we'd like to present to you another new area you'll discover as you descend into the earth. Welcome to the bug-infested depths of the Grub Pit. Even if you're just passing through, these creepy crawlies don't take too kindly to intruders. Make haste while digging through the carnivorous dirt. It will retaliate by releasing its deadly spikes. Other foes, like the rolling beetle, will roll toward you with giant balls of something. Yuck! Use your shovel drop to stay above the fray. When you reach the bottom of the nest, you'll encounter another member of the Hexcavators. A certain bug-loving spelunker, perhaps? Though we needed a little more development time than we initially anticipated, we're excited to announce that the game is in the final stages of development and nearing completion. We look forward to sharing Shovel Knight's next adventure with you. Hi, I'm Nick Wozniak, but most people call me Woz, and I'm an artist at Yacht Club Games. We can't believe it's already been a year since Cyber Shadow released. It seems like just yesterday when fans were descending into Mecha City and battling Dr. Progen for the first time. Cyber Shadow was developed as a love letter to action games of a classic era, and it's been awesome to see players connecting with the game, finding all the secrets, and rising to its toughest challenges. If you haven't played Cyber Shadow, now is the perfect time to embark on your epic ninja adventure, because for a limited time, Cyber Shadow will be 30% off on all participating platforms. Also, we're happy to announce that we are releasing Cyber Shadow's pulse-pounding soundtrack by the very talented composer Enrique Martin. It is available digitally on Bandcamp starting today and will be coming to streaming services soon. Thanks, Waz. I can't wait to listen to that sweet soundtrack on repeat. Over two years ago, on our last Yacht Club Games Presents, we announced that we were working on new internal projects. Well, time flies, and we finally have something to share with you. Enjoy the presentation.
I'm Alec Faulkner, designer at Yacht Club Games and director of Mina the Hollower. We're so excited to finally reveal this brand new project. Mina the Hollower is a bone-chilling action-adventure featuring classic gameplay and an 8-bit aesthetic in the style of the Game Boy Color, but refined for the modern era. The game combines smooth 60 frames per second action combat, a world full of mystery and horror, and top-down adventuring. As you might expect from the next original title from our studio, Mina the Hollower is a celebration of games both old and new. You play as Mina, a whip-wielding hollower and visionary inventor. She receives a troubling letter from Baron Lionel, her longtime patron and the overseer of Tenebrous Isle. Mina's advances in spark technology brought power to the island for the first time many years ago, but now the spark generators have gone dark and foul play is suspected. You'll use a myriad of weapons and oddball trinkets to vanquish the monsters thwarting Mina's objective. And along the way, you'll unearth the secret horrors of Tenebrous Isle. You won't want to miss this harrowing yet heartwarming tale. Mina the Hollower is currently in the thick of production, and ideas are still taking form. We want your feedback, collaboration, and support in making Mina the Hollower the best game it can possibly be. That's why we're returning to our roots and kicking off Mina the Hollower's development as a Kickstarter campaign. For those of you who don't know, Kickstarter is a crowdfunding platform that allows communities to fund creators and bring their visions to life. By backing our campaign, you can secure a copy of the game when it releases and even get in on the development process yourself. We've also partnered with Fangamer to create exclusive backer rewards, including a physical soundtrack, enamel pins, an art book, and even an adorable plush. Though we're financing a majority of the project ourselves, we hope we can create a more expansive game this way. More importantly, we want to build a community around Kickstarter, much like we did with Shovel Knight. We also want to share a development process more than ever before. So join us for backer-exclusive development live streams, help us flesh out Mina's adventure by contributing your ideas for enemies, NPCs, and boss designs, and learn about how we make games and join us on the journey. The Kickstarter is officially live right now. You can read more about the game and the campaign at minathehollower.com. Thank you so much for watching, and stick around because the party is going to continue alongside our hosts at G4 with an early preview of gameplay from Mina the Hollower.